want to take a closer look this morning at the science driving new medical marijuana laws. Supporters of the law say marijuana is legitimate medicine. Critics question whether or not pot's benefits trump its side effects. Anita Vogel examines the science. She is live in Los Angeles today. Anita, good morning. Good morning, Bill. The debate over medical marijuana really started in earnest 14 years ago when Californians passed Proposition 215. That allowed people with a doctor's recommendation to possess and grow pot for personal medical use. Today, medical marijuana is legal in 14 states. And this November, California voters will face another historic vote on whether to legalize the drug for everybody over the age of 21. We decided to look a little more closely at the science behind marijuana medicine. They feel better, they eat better. Advocates for the clinical use of marijuana claim its effectiveness in treating glaucoma and pain and nausea from chemotherapy is unrivaled. Many patients insist pot helped where other medications failed. Some people drop out of chemotherapy because they're so nauseated and depleted by the effects. This helps to get them over the hump to be able to give them full doses without moderating, without delaying and to give them a, a sense of feeling much improved in their daily life. It's a quality of life decision. Doctors generally agree pot therapy works for some conditions. The disagreement comes over its availability and abuse. The idea that it needs to be commonly used, there's no medical indication for that whatsoever. Not only that, it has a risk of lung cancer associated with it, a risk of psychiatric problems, anxiety, depression, dissociation, and suicide. Another issue is the potency of today's pot. New government research shows levels of THC, the ingredient that causes the marijuana high, are more than double what they were 20 years ago. We know that the THC, the potent part of the marijuana, is considerably higher than it has been in the past. And I think that's of concern when it comes to dependence and other problems associated with marijuana. And that's got some concern that older Californians may vote for legalization because they remember smoking a few joints when they were in college, not realizing the drug as it exists today is much more powerful. Uh, Anita Vogel, thanks live in L.A. And